What's up, my peeps? It's Shannon. And I'm Whitley. Whitley's a fellow food hacker and friend. I've asked her to join me today because I've been inducted into the Food Hacks Hall of Fame. Wow, that's the most prestigious online food-related hall ever. And now that I've reached the top of my food hacking career, I decided it's time to focus on my fans and give you guys a chance to shine. What are you doing? You have to follow me to find out. My info is below. Until then, I'm handing over my handy hacking book to you, Whitley. <sighs> Whoa, that's a big book. I believe in you, Whitley. Hacks de la Vista, babies. <laughs> Don't laugh. Hi there, food hackers. I'm ex so excited to be here with you. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but an Instagram picture is worth a thousand likes. That's why my very first episode is Instagrammable Food Hacks. I approach my Instagram in a very specific manner. Let's be real, it's all about getting those double taps, and ice cream cones are getting those double taps. Now, let's make my first hack my spectacular sprinkle cone. All the recipes for these hacks are in the description box down below. Melt white candy melts in the microwave. Grab a snow cone cup and cover it with the candy melts. Now, cover it with the sprinkles. Use your hands to gently pat them in. Place it in the fridge to harden. Once hardened, gently peel the snow cone cup off the chocolate. Fill it with ice cream and whatever toppings you want. This pick is posted. Now, while we wait for the likes to roll in, let's keep on hacking. Another way to rack up them likes is with my next pack, Fruity Pebble Pops. In a large bowl, combine butter, brown sugar, salt, vanilla, and milk. Mix that together. Add in flour a little bit at a time. and some chocolate chips. Now, form the dough into small balls and place them on a baking sheet. Grab your popsicle sticks. Dip one end of the sticks into melted white chocolate. Then, stick them into the cookie pops. Cover the cookie pops with the white chocolate. Then, immediately dip them into a bowl of Fruity Pebbles cereal to coat. Place it in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes. There's no way this puppy isn't breaking triple digits. Finally, my last rule of a great food gram is hack the unexpected. That's why my last hack is my amazing french fry donut. Add one egg to your mashed potatoes. Mix that together. Spray your donut mold with nonstick spray. Place a layer of fries into the bottom of the molds. Now, fill with mashed potatoes. Top with more french fries. Place your donuts in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. These look awesome. Hey Whitley, how's it hacking? Oh, hello. Well, it's going good. My answer pics are posted and crushing it. And now it's time for the fun part. I just came over here to see if you're ready to take over. There's only one way to find out. Don't mind if I do. Well? Yep, you're ready. Try one. This is really good. <laughs> There's different colors on it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm trying not to be rude, but. I should take this home. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and come back and see me. I'll get lonely otherwise. Click here Keep for more videos. videos.
Comment, Comment down, down below. below. <laughs> and don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts below where I'll give you the update on my new show starring you because there's a star in all of us that deserves to shine. Bye. Bye. <laughs>